day viewers welcome to Afri's concept tv your number one reliable channel where you get updated and enlightened on what is happening around you i appreciate you for the time spent while watching and viewing our channel so if you are new on this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever i drop any video news updates Bola Ahmed Tinubu is warming up to be the president in 2023. <coughs> there has been so much talk concerning a Tinubu presidency lately. Don't miss the rumors just yet. APC national leader Bola Ahmed Tinubu may be mulling a presidential role over a meal of fresh fish pepper soup and cold beer on the banks of the Lagos Lagoon one moonlight night i asked one ali of ashiwaji bola ameti numbu if he thinks the man is seriously considering a presidential run in 2023 he laughed so hard and loud shocked on his beer and pepper soup and ended up misty eyes from too much laughter when he eventually got around to answering my question I was expecting a flat out diner and a friendly rebuke about knowing better than to believe fake news. Instead, my friends ordered for more beer and pepper soup and posed a question on his own. Now tell me, is Tinumbu not qualified to run the president? Is he not a Nigerian? It is a rhetorical question thrown my way every time I ask an APC faithful or Chitan if the man Jagaban is seriously mourning a presidential run in 2023. For all his flaws, no one has played smarter politics in Nigeria since 1999 than Tinubu, the Southwest Godfather. The game comes naturally to him he is ever the chess or brand master president momodu buari has been leaning on tinumbu's advice since 2015 presidency from his southeast base tinumbu had and picked governors ministers senators a president and a vice president he has also sacked governors a party chairman, a president, a senate president, an habilitated political opponent, ended careers of those who would do his biding and made Nigerians commercial capital city of Lagos his own. His body on Lagos address often meals with party faithful and angers on looking for favors. No politicians as much influence as Tinumbu does today. The Tinumbu campaign posters are really a thing. The first noticed Tinumbu's 2023 presidential campaign posters in the Ogba, Lagos area in July of 2019. It is also constructive that when APC chairman Adam Sushomole was asked about the posters, he did not run out a Tinumbu presidential run. He only said it wasn't time to discuss the subject. So I stand here as national chairman of APC, not only to deny those posters as they affect me, but to deny those posters as they affect any leader of our party because it is not yet time. At this point in time, all hands must be on decks to support President Momodu Buhari and all our state governors in their respective states to work together to deliver for the good of our people in the state and at the federal level, Oshomole said. APC national leader Bola Tinumbu, Vice President Yemi Usibajo, President Momodu Buhari, APC national chairman Adam Oshomole, and the national caucus of the party. It was as weak and strategic a resort as they come. It is also worth noting that the Numbu 
has not ruled out a presidential run in 2023 or denied the posters. For a man who always has a lot to say about governance and politics, he is evaded rumors of his own presidential run, run like a landmine. Instead, political allies have been dropping in in the press with an uncanny regularity. You are almost certain they are only acting out their rules in a grand script. The voice of the chief tens, Bola Tinumbu, will make a good president. Other issues notwithstanding, Tinumbu will make a good modern president because the presidency these days is scientific. Nigerians, by convention, seems to have agreed that there should be a rotation of the presidency. Former secretary to the government of the federation, Babashio Lawa, said recently, in the southwest today, the tallest person politically cannot be better than Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, so I will encourage and plead with him to run for the office of president. I know his antecedents. I know his pedigree. I know he can run the affairs of Nigeria effectively and smoothly. Look at the financial engineering foundation he led for Lagos State, which explains why governors that came after him found it easy to run the affairs of the state. Viewers, what would you have to say concerning this news that you just heard by Tenumbu? If you have any comments concerning this news, don't hesitate to drop your comment below. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get more updates whenever I drop any video. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.